First of all, thank you for allowing me into your... TARDIS, you said it was called? There are quite a few of you, aren't there? I'll try to keep my questions spread among you. First off, Mikey Lugo, who first inspired you to start drawing? Some know that I got inspired by so many content creators, so many uh, cartoon, like, wacky people out in the industry, and yeah, I got inspired by a lot. It's even hard for me to even list them down, but if you look through my social media and stuff, you'll probably see how much stuff that I got inspired by these these creators. But way back when I was very little, I wanted to at least enjoy painting and drawing. And by the way, this is when like back in the mid 2000s and stuff that I was trying to find out who I wanted to be and how I wanted to at least approach myself to. And you know, live my life out there. And yeah, I wanted to draw a lot, and it was the biggest thing that I never thought I would actually going to do. What first brought you into Doctor Who culture, and when? So, here's the thing. When I got into Doctor Who, my sister, Angelica Vessel, if you don't know who my sister is, she's a wonderful, wonderful person of mine. And she is the responsible one who got me into the show. At first, I saw it on Netflix for a bit. The original... 60s one or at least some episodes i mean only some episodes because i was wondering at the time but when i fully watched it on june 13 2015 yes june 13 2015 and it was on a saturday 9 p.m with uh, disney xd airing the episode tooth and claw with david tennant as the doctor of course Yes, I still remember that. Shockingly, I still remember that. Why do you incorporate big names like Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon into your videos? Well, the thing is, I really love how they put all this nostalgia out there. And it was a thing that I really grown up with. And I really get emerged within their worlds. And with all the nonsense that they've been doing for like forever, for every company they did, it brings a lot of tears and joy into my life that I really enjoy these things. Next, I would like to speak to Darkin. Can you summon him for me? Uh, Darkin. I guess Darkin is in the void, so I think you have to go that way to get to the void for at least to see what's going on. So, uh, yeah, anyways. Darkin, you're next! So, you're the guy who's gonna interview me today. Very interesting. Good choice to talk to me. It's been a very long time since I was actually talked about. So anyways, what's the question? Stroll it to me. Do you remember the day you were created? What were your first words? Well, if I were to remember the days that I was created, uh... It was during around Mikey's final months around, uh, high school. I can't say specifically because if you look to his Instagram, my Instagram, yeah, I know I'm sounding like a total Mikey right now, but if you look on the date of the timelines of how he posted me and stuff, you'll probably get the gesture of what was going on. And what was my first words? You'll probably know by the first Darkin video on my channel, of course. Yeah, I wanted to plan some revenge scheme on Mikey at one point, but, uh, I've given him a pass at this point. Okay, now what exactly are you? Can you explain your function on the channel? Oh... Uh, I'm a hybrid. Yes, I am a hybrid. A hybrid of, of a drawing and basically physical life. Yes, I'm part of a soul of Mikey and basically just, you know, his essence of creating stuff. In other words, I'm just part of Mikey's soul, etc, etc, point blank. And the function of the channel? Well, actually, I wanted just to make the channel to at least plan some schemes or whatever, but until then, um, yeah, I decided to change it up to adventures and stuff. Do you ever get jealous of Lightning? Do I ever get jealous? That's actually a good question. There are sometimes I do get jealous, but at the same time, I don't. Next, I would like to speak to the one you call the Doctor. I think he's over there in that uh, bone booth. 
So, uh, go talk to him, alright? Well then, I never thought to actually see this, but you're here to interview me. Very surprising. And I guess you have a bunch of questions, so lay them on to me, and, uh, yeah, I will answer them. What does time mean to you? Time. Well, like what my past incarnation said, it's more like of a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey nonsense. Time is very important as well, to not mess around with it, also not to destroy it, like that flux. I'm still angry about that flux situation. What is your ARG about? ARG? Oh lord, this is where all this Mikey nonsense is coming into uh, action. Well, I can't say that much. There's no story going on. It's just, um, silly nonsense. And if you're talking about the TARDIS acting up, yeah, it's questionable. It's been releasing files out of the blue, and it's just, mmm, very, uh, interesting. Who is the master to you? Who's the master to me? Uh, I haven't heard anything from the master for a very, very, very long time. Well, again, timelines and stuff. I haven't seen him since the last time that I actually encountered him. Unless, I hope he's not here at least. If he is here, then he's probably gonna kick my butt. <laughs> Do you remember me? It is so great to see you again. It's been so long since the last time we met. <laughs> You've been so calm lately. Things have been going so well for you. Well, how about we mix in a little bit of chaos? Because what's more fun than a little bit of chaos? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so cool. And I can't wait to interact with you, my old friend. Oh, and I do hope you remember me, because if you do not, I will be angry. But for now, I am going to lay in rest, and I am going to let this poor fool rest in his own body. <laughs> oh, doppelgangers are so easy to manipulate. But of course, you would know all about that, wouldn't you? Until next time, see you around, Mikey Lugo. Or should I say, the doctor. Hey, thank you all for watching. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. Thank you all so much for everything you do to support what I do. Vexus, CNK114, Investigator Zeus, Dobby's Music, Jerry Mullins, and Phantasm7. Thank you all again for keeping this channel and my other projects going.